Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the bootleggers ROM for our Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus or the Redmi Note 5. So, without wasting more time, let's so guys, starting with the launcher, we get the pixel launcher, and let's move into settings. We get a lot of options too. I don't even know which launcher is this. So, this is a Shishu launcher type bootleg. So, it's based on lean launcher and also by the rootless pixel launcher. You can see notification dots, add a glance, and many other customizations. And uh, it has an issue with the launcher, uh, like launcher settings that uh, you cannot see the navbar. So yeah, it's not related to ROM, it's just the launcher issue. Let's move to the app draw now and you can see we get the normal system apps. But we see some changes like instead of the gallery, we get the third party camera roll app. Also some icons change, we get a mix explorer, we get issue wallpapers, web browser and the google wallpapers. Also the retro music app too. That's Let's great. move to the customization like which every user goes first and takes a look at. So boot like a dumpster and here's the status bar customizations. You can see 4G icon, you can change it to LTE and many other stuff you can just take a look after. So I will just give you a small look at all of the stuff which is present so that you can then change and uh, like look on the stuff hardware buttons it's related to the power key and the volume keys then we have nav bar features so yeah you can take a look afterwards installation after the installation so these are the stuff present the power menu the recent apps the notifications the miscellaneous and it's the about bootleggers like thing about the ROM and the build type you can see it's unofficial build and guys that's it for the video review of the bootleggers ROM the battery and the smoothness is very good yeah I hope it goes official soon so that we can get OT updates directly without like looking for them so uh, that's it guys for the video and the installation is very easy just wipe Dalvik system data and cache and just flash the ROM and the G apps and whatever other mods you want like the super SC or all other stuff and goodbye guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.